What is your favorite season of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette? Let me get this straight. Somebody actually watches The Bachelor and The Bachelorette? Like, dude, what the hell are you doing? That's like torturing yourself. That stuff is garbage. I mean, I don't watch it. It's my favorite season is none of them. I, I actually, I, I have a lot of equality when it comes to like every season and how I judge it because I hate them all equally. I mean, you can't like, I, I'm not even being like, you know, favoritizing like one season, they all suck. But then again, I guess the rest of the world watches it and I'm the weirdo here, so whatever. Um, let's put it this way. Everybody's probably like, oh, there's that guy's so good looking or that girl's so good looking they would make the nicest looking babies well guess what doesn't matter how good anybody looks there's two words to keep in mind everybody poops hey what's going on my name is brian bauer and today i'm here to do another q a video it has been some time since i've done one of these i've been busy trying to do music it's hard to keep up with all these things, but trust me, I have been busy doing things. So new songs coming soon. I just fixed a little mix and master there today. Something was a little harsh when I checked it out. Um, but soon, soon, I'm gonna put that out. I'm sorry the stream sucked. I've been trying to show this song off a little bit. Either way, gonna do a music video and all that stuff for it here sooner than later. So yeah, I wanna do another review video coming up here soon. So. Yeah, I got things I want to do. Don't worry about that. I'm just, I really want to do music. So anyway, if you guys can click the like button, that would be super awesome. And uh, you know, also subscribe button if you are new around here. Um, just trying a few things today, like wearing a wrinkled shirt. I planned this out, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm just trying to pulsating lights here. There's actually music playing. It's just, I have the monitors turned off. So, you know, it's, it's not actually from my voice, but I just wanted to try something different. Hopefully it works. Maybe it sucks. I don't know. I'll find out in post. So anyway, on to the questions. What is your favorite type of content out of all the videos you do? All right. So favorite content for the channel has always been kind of doing the music and music video kind of things. Uh, I like doing, I mean, most of it I do like doing, but I think my favorite is still music. It is how the channel started. I never really envisioned it starting, starting out to, you know, be talking and doing reviews. But it turns out I actually just like uh, shooting videos and being a personality. And this day and age, you really can't just always be a musician. I, I do envy those that, that do, but I like doing this. This is, this is fun for me. Uh, when it comes to doing music, like the music videos and such, I really actually like editing them. It's not always fun getting started because you have this big stack of videos and it's like, uh, and you're sorting everything out. Once everything's, you know, lined up, like it worked in Premiere Pro, I actually like choosing like the clips for the different sections of the videos and such. I, I find that kind of fun. And it's just like, you're seeing the whole project come together and I enjoy the output. It's actually really good. And even if I was to stop doing this, I would still do that because it's fun to make those kind of videos. And I still like making music and playing guitar. And that's kind of what I want to do is play guitar. So, but hey, some people hate music. Some people hate editing videos and such. I, I like editing videos. So there you go. What is the next solar on your wish list? Solar guitars on my wish list. Well, I don't have any solar guitars on my wish list. Uh, I have two of them now. I have like the like the seven string over there. It's the A one seventy. I have the A one sixty as well. Those are the natural finished distressed ones. Um, I'm getting a little bit tired of the Solar Duncan pickups, to be honest. Uh, they do offer a Fishman option now, which I think is super awesome that they do. Uh, because a lot of people want those. That wasn't a thing when I bought those. Uh, the seven strings, super cool. I'm fighting a little bit with the six strings, electronics and stuff. So I kind of want to just swap them all out, put a set of Seymour Duncan, like a JB Jazz or 59 there in it uh, because they play super good. They have good specs and all that stuff. So uh, the coroner would be the only one I'd really want to get. I'm kind of more looking into wanting to get uh, Charvels or something like that. I, I, I still love Ibanez and such. Uh, I'm not an endorser of any company because I'm a nobody and half you guys who watch the videos don't subscribe and watch them all the time. 
then again, it's hard to keep up with everything. So that's just how it goes. Is there a music gear manufacturer, guitars, basses, stomp box, modelers, etc., that you would wish to innovate and collaborate with in the next five years? And what would the one thing be that you would want to innovate? Oh man, Brandon Sills, he always has the most, uh, you know, in-depth questions. So I have my phone in my hand because I've written some of these questions down that I'm answering for this video. Um, so, man, with when it comes to guitars, I mean, a lot of them offer what I like now. One thing, though, if there's guitars, you know, it's sometimes bass, you get the locking jacks. Why is that not a thing on guitars? I mean, it's so awesome. Basses get cool options like that, but guitars don't, but... Either way, I think a lot of guitars look cooler than some basses, so whatever. Bass is always a little bit funky looking. Um, is there any manufacturers that I'd like to collaborate with? I mean, and to innovate. Man, that is a tough one because like, I never ever really uh, thought about like, what would I do for a signature model and stuff. Um, I don't know if there's anything I'd like to see. I don't know if it's a specific company. Is to have something like all your like neural DSP and all that kind of stuff in like an iPad. Like think about what those chip stuff now do. I have the M1 chip. I'm using my iPad to film as well. That's the other angle. Um, that's why it sometimes looks a little strange. Uh, I just think if you unlock those and use those kind of chips, imagine like having that kind of desktop power and something like that. Now you would need some sort of interface to work with it, but just imagine if you could, you know, plug into something. I, I think we'll see it. I think that would be, I think that would be a really cool thing. I mean, a lot of people use laptops and such too, but I mean, tablets are pretty powerful these days. I don't think I'm answering this super good. I also think that there's always gonna be a place for, you know, heads and cabs and stuff too. And I still, you know, I got the uh, like the Cali Audio monitors behind me and all that stuff, but I mostly play when I'm just in here practicing. I use I use a cabinet. So, but as for gear manufacturers to work with, man, ah, that's such a tough one because I don't know if I really offer a lot of that kind of brain power that they really need to move forward with something like that. I think I'd really just need to find a specific problem. I just think uh, if you could do something digitally in the tablet world, that'd be kind of where it'd be at. Um, if you want to talk about guitars though, Ibanez, I would totally talk to you about uh, being an artist. If you ever wanted me to be, that'd be super cool. Um, but then again, like, ah, it's, that's, a tough, that's a tough question. And don't worry, I don't think Ibanez is calling me today. I don't think the subs I have it's gotta really do much, but hey, who knows? Five years can change a lot. What is a band or artist who has really spoken to you and your soul and why? A band that has really spoken to me. Man, that is really tough. I mean, I'm a big fan of Rush. I think they're just an amazing band. And uh, I, think, I think I have to list a few songs that kind of speak to me. Maybe not always lyrically, but just like, you know, sound wise. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit tough, but I'll name a few off. Middletown Dreams by uh, Rush. It's off the Power Windows record, which is over there on the wall. If we can see it in the frame here. I, I don't know. Either way, I think that's a cool one. It's just kind of like, you know, about everyday life and like that little town, your big dreams. You're just trying to do things and get through life. And hopefully one day you'll make it doing something. Hopefully you enjoy the ride. Uh, I'd have to say See Through Me by Orbit Culture. I That song is just straight up perfect. I, I don't know how to describe that one other than that. I don't know if I necessarily relate to the lyrics of it as much, but man, when I first heard See Through Me by Air, Orbit Culture, I almost said Airbit. Uh, I think that's the only song I listened to for a weekend. It was just such a good song. Uh, Last Goodbye by Kenny Wayne Shepherd. That one just, I don't know, man, it hits. I will say Searching for a Heart by Warren Zevon as well. I don't know if any of you guys are Warren Zevon fans. You might know his song Werewolves in London. Well, he hates that song. Uh, he has a lot of great songs and a lot of them do speak to 
a lot of us on like maybe a deeper level. You may not speak to everybody, but that song, Searching for a Heart's a great one. Susie Lightning, that's all off of uh, the Mr. Bad Example record. I think that is a, uh, it's just an overall great record. If you have not checked out Warren Zevon, I'd suggest check out some of his stuff. It's pretty dark at times with a very upbeat feel to it, but there's just a feeling from Searching for a Heart, maybe somebody like me, you know relates to some favorite song among those you composed and why oh ah uh, man that is tough there i've got a few that i really like oh uh, i'm gonna have to say black is winter out of the ones that are out into the world i just really think that i nailed it with song structure and the riffs i, I mean i think if i went back i don't know if i'd do it as a parody song i think i just didn't want to do like evil satanic black metal it's just not me and the song's not totally black metal it's supposed to be it's not really true cult cavalt cult cavalt black metal but i i just i like the riffing and stuff and i just think i did a really good job on that one distance a really cool one too i, I wrote that in a lot less time than black is winter um and that was written on a very weird time in life in 2020 I should say a really weird night, but those those who know what I'm talking about know. It was a weird time around here. Um, yeah, I, I think that one just, I don't know. I just thought it was really good. I just liked the vibes I got. I felt like they just, I don't know. I What I liked about Distant is that I used the seven string without it really being a seven string song where it wasn't all, you know, like you know low string riffing and all that kind of stuff it wasn't just always in the b string and such and i don't know i like the melodies of that one i just i think i did a good job on that and uh i'm gonna put out some more i promise so it's gonna happen one of these days as long as i'm breathing uh hope that answers the question off topic thoughts on the juno mission the juno mission is uh, i guess this cool satellite that or some sort of orbiting thing i, I don't know much about it it went to Jupiter, and I think anything that's like about space is pretty cool. I checked it out. They could apparently even hear one of the moons or something around Jupiter. You know, they got that big storms and all that stuff there. It's a the big gas giant, way bigger than the Earth. And uh, I mean, we would die if we went there. Fun facts with me. It's like, what would happen if we went to Jupiter? We would die. The gravitational pull. If it wasn't that, like, haul us in, we would just die and burn up. Um, I think anything that uh, involves space is actually quite interesting. I think that humanity, as long as we can survive the next little bit and we don't, you know, blow up, um, you know, I think that there's going to be some really cool stuff happening, you know, like in with, uh, you know, space exploration and stuff. I don't think anybody my age uh, in this age group is ever really going to see a ton of that, but just wait. I think Elon Musk has some cool ideas and such. I have no interest in going to space myself. Uh, I, 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 I'm meant to be here on Earth. I mean, humans are really meant to be here on Earth, but what happens to the planet? I don't know. We got to save this planet, you know, so you should care about climate change some in your life and just think about that a little bit because we don't want to wreck this place. I still think that, uh, space should be you know check out some i don't know how far humanity can you know get there it's got to come at a cost uh i don't know if this is answering the question at all i'm way off topic but yeah i do think that stuff is really cool and when it comes to youtube i actually do watch things about some of this stuff as well it, it's very it's very interesting to me to watch and i don't always watch you know guitar and metal stuff i do like watching documentaries and things so Hey, this is cool. I like talking about other stuff. Guitar channel to talk about space a little bit. Have you ever participated in the band slash gigging lifestyle? So I have I have tried to join bands and try to, you know, sometimes get things going, but it never really worked. I do jam with people and such. A lot of my projects have become like, you know, an online thing. That's where the audience is these days. I don't really care about being so much in a gigging band around town because most of them are just end up being cover bands and I don't totally want to be a cover band. That's just my thing. Uh, I have gigged before, not regularly. I 
actually some of my favorite experiences. I can still think of this one open mic at uh, the Gorge Brook at SMU. And I played that, and that place was packed. And I was playing like my style of music, and it was so awesome. It was like this, I was able to get the crowd, you know, right pumped up and such. I think there's some really old videos on the channel here, maybe of that show. And they're, they're awful videos, I promise. Like the playing, everything about them was awful, but it was so much fun. And uh, definitely need to do it again sometime. Unfortunately, I haven't been, been in like 30 different bands. Uh, just, I find around here, if you're just thinking you're gonna make it in the, like playing like the bars, doing your own thing. If you're doing metal and stuff, it might not work. It could, I mean, Orchid's Curse and some of those bands have done okay. Um, Keith from that band has a Twitch too, so I should link that below. If you could only have one string on your guitar, which one are you choosing? I'm gonna say the low E string. Low E string on the six string or the B string on the seven. There's, this makes absolutely no sense. What if the taco shells had flat bottoms? Dude, I'm pretty sure there's taco shells with flat bottoms already. I went out to get Mexican food the other night though, and it was super good. And I'll totally go back, and I, I loved every bit of it. It was great. What is your favorite pop punk band, and why is it Sum 41? So as much as I think Sum 41 has some cool songs, I do like their older stuff, and when I did hear one of their newer ones, it was actually really good. And they have that whole in-between sex. My favorite pop punk band will always be Blink-182. I just think Blink-182... I think it's because I heard them first, and they were around earlier, and that's what I knew. I, I remember when Dude Ranch came out, first got cable, damn it, was on rotation. That's still a song I really like. Also, I did a Blink-182 cover of What's My Age Again with Dennis Nielsen. He's over Norway. It's on his channel. Um, yeah, check it out. It's in the cards. What's it like having to play a guitar for a music video that isn't plugged in, but still needing to generate the emotions behind the music? Okay, so doing music videos is a weird thing for a lot of people. It's even weird when people see somebody making this, because it's something that we consume a lot of, but a lot of us don't make and very few of us see somebody else make. So that's when we're talking about, you know, showing the emotion behind the music, but you're not plugged into a guitar. Well, we're miming, obviously. That's how music videos are. There are people out there that think that's when the songs are recorded, but they clearly never thought about it. There's a reason there's studios, you know. To answer that question, if you've played a lot of air guitar, you'll probably be good at that. You know, if you're passionate about by yourself, playing air guitar or just like, you know, miming, whatever you're listening to, you know, that cool, uh, you know, in the air tonight, Phil Collins, drum, Phil, you know, like, you know, you're doing that. Like you gotta just translate that kind of feeling over to your music video. And it might take a little bit of practice because it might seem awkward in front of people, but you just have to just, if you're gonna start out doing this and you're feeling that way, you just gotta do it, just, just do it. Who cares? Because if when you edit it and post it, it's gonna look awesome. Uh, it's definitely, I mean, it seems kind of strange and looks kind of corny, but overall, it's not that difficult, at least for me. It might be difficult for others, but remember this, you, you really can't make any mistakes doing it. Unless you're like way off, I'd say go back and, you know, fix it up, like redo the take. Um, just, just go for the zone, you just, who cares? You just have to be just like, you know, it's the subtle art of not giving a f Why are they called fingers if you never see them fing? I don't know. I've seen them fing all the time. When are we going to do another live stream? You know what? I think one of these days we should get a guest live stream where we just sit there and talk for a while. So guess what? I think Lee, me and you should actually plan on doing that really soon. Maybe we should get, uh, you know, someone else that we know to pop on with us. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I've always had a lot of fun on Lee's live streams. And uh, yeah, Lee is an awesome guy, super fun to talk to. So I think we should actually do that. Well, guess what? I think that is enough questions for today. Man, some of you guys asked some intense questions and it's hard to answer them. I know this is a big babble fest, but that's what this is all about. I would have done this like a vlog style thing, but uh, I kind of just wanted to stay home, needed to do this. A little easier in a controlled environment. It's also windy as hell out there right now. Anyway, 
guys click the like button subscribe button notification bell thank you all for you know hanging around and asking questions and just watching the videos and all that such too so i know this is kind of more of a for the fans video so i do appreciate that um keep in mind i'm busy you're busy we're all kind of busy doing things so i'll be putting the content out don't worry about that anyway you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you guys all in the next video uh, we'll do another one of these coming up down the road. All right. I'll see you all later.